Hello everyone, this is Yeonjun from Korea Now with the weekly K-Buzz. In today's K-Buzz, we have some news about BTS Jimin's contribution to the increasing demand of tteokbokki in the US, as well as some news regarding both the Korean entertainment and K-pop industries. First up is one of the most famous Korean comfort food, tteokbokki. BTS member Jimin has often been spotted enjoying tteokbokki over the years with related videos and photos trending on social media each time. Tteokbokki, a widely known Korean street food, is a dish consisting of rice cakes doused in red pepper sauce. Many variations to the dish have been made as it continues to gain popularity, such as putting different toppings on top. According to a recent survey in the US, the sales of pre-packaged tteokbokki in the US through online retailers have increased by more than 450% over the last year. Not only is it popular online, but also many tteokbokki restaurants are being opened across the US, allowing people to access Korean food more easily. Korean food is becoming more and more popular across the world, especially as it is being exposed through Korean TV shows and movies, such as Parasite, and more recently a reality show currently being aired called Ginny's Kitchen. Moving on, we have an update on last week's K-Buzz regarding the show Physical 100. Despite the interest and support it gained as the episodes went on, the show was embroiled in controversy after the final episode aired. On March 9th, the producers of the show held a press conference and revealed unedited footage of the final challenge to explain that there was no intentional manipulation during the show. The main producer admitted the game was indeed stopped twice, first due to technical issues with the audio and concerns regarding the safety of the contestants, and later again because the rope of one of the two finalists, Wu Jinyong, got stuck, denying the runner-up Chong Yemin's claim that Wu had asked the production team to pause the match. The producer apologized to the participants and viewers for not having clearly outlined the technical issues that occurred during the final quest and promised to try his best to resolve the misunderstanding with the final two contestants. Finally, moving on to some K-pop news, as Blackpink member Jisoo confirms the release date of her first solo album, Me. The album will be released on March 31st, but fans are already excited with the star's solo debut as Jisoo broke the record for highest first day pre-orders for any album in K-Town For You history with 159,846 pre-orders. The number kept increasing and has surpassed 200,000 pre-orders in just one day and 19 hours, which also sets the record as the fastest album to do so. So, with Korean food becoming more popular and accessible, why not try it and let us know your favourites in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Korea Now for more updates. See you guys next time.